Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Uh, I got a little bit of my uh, Opera Funksy going on here, Opera Funksy 3. That you can download in the description. I'll, I'll put a link to it of my mix there that you can check out. And today I want to talk a little bit about neurogenesis and uh, using peptides to promote neurogenesis. So we're going to be talking about peptide 6, which is uh, derived from, let's see how the music class there. So peptide 6 is derived from uh, CNTF, uh, ciliary nootrophic factor, and uh, we're going to check it out. We're going to talk a little bit about CNTF. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, peptide 6, peptide 21, uh, and ways to increase neurogenesis. So let's get started. So I'm going to cut the music just a little bit of all the way. And let's head over to peptide 6. So you can see here, peptide 6 is a small protein that can enhance neurogenesis and help with many neurocognitive disorders. So it's based off of CNTF, which we can pull up here for a second. And what CNTF does, CNTF is like another neurotrophic factor similar to BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, nerve growth factor, NGF, and glial-derived neurotrophic factor. It's uh, actually quite a large protein uh, and a polypeptide hormone. And uh, I'll show you quickly how it is was discovered. So CNTF, it's got all these benefits you can check out on the blog. Uh, and that's in this post. I haven't made a video on it yet. But the problem with CNTF taking it exogenously was that people, patients in these uh, clinical trials were creating antibodies to CNTF. And you don't want that because that's got a whole bunch of systemic problems uh, in and of itself. So this is what CNTF looks like. Uh, let me move my face over a little bit. So you can see they took CNTF, found peptide 6 here, and then from peptide 6, they're able to cleave uh, P, P, P021, peptide 21. Uh, and so this, you can see it's a, way smaller than CNTF. It's huge, peptide's smaller, and peptide 21 is even smaller. Now let's go over to P6, peptide 6, and talk a little bit about it. Maybe some uh, music to get this, this this part started. So what do you guys think about this? Let's see. This one's called Shap M. All right, so there's gonna be some background music. I don't know if it's too loud, so I'm gonna turn it down. Here we go. I got no headphones on. I have no headphones on, so I don't know how loud it's actually gonna be. Okay, so it can help with Alzheimer's, traumatic brain injuries, ASD, autism spectrum disorders, and Down syndrome. So it's most of the studies have been in animals, mostly rodents. Uh, and the only case studies we have are N1, people trying this themselves. Uh, as a research chemical so I don't condone to that but if you're into that then that's your thing so in mice it can increase p6 peptide 6 can increase neurogenesis in the brain uh, and it can help with hippocampal hippocampal neuronal loss uh, it's shown to help with Alzheimer's disease so it helps with the tau tangles and amyloid beta plaques it also helps uh, restore cognition by enhancing part of its properties like CNTF, neurogenesis, and neuronal plasticity. It can help with autism spectrum disorders. So they took sera, which is blood serum uh, of aut autistic children, and put it into rats and they saw that they had autism-like symptoms. And giving them peptide 6 was able to blunt or completely counteract these effects 
uh, prevent cell death that was caused by the sera or the oxidative stress. And then you also got that it helps with Down syndrome. So Down syndrome, it's got problems with certain encoding of genes on the chromosome 21. And uh, in mice that had Down syndrome, peptide 6 was actually able to improve their cognitive function and reduce memory impairment that they normally had. And that was also through neurogenesis, hippocampal growth uh, that CNTF has. So, as we discussed before, it's a lot smaller than CNTF, and it has a lot less side effects. It's able to cross the blood-brain barrier. It works on the CNTF JAK STAT3 pathway, and it inhibits a uh, leukemia inhibitor factor. And when LIF is upregulated, it inhibits neurogenesis. Um, so, for increasing neurogenesis, something similar is NOGO A. Uh, if you inhibit LIF or NOGO A, you increase neurogenesis both through two different pathways, but I thought that was kind of cool. I just did a post about NOGO A uh, right here you can check out. And here's some other technical information if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, and remember, it's a research chemical, and most of the tests have been done in animal models. So... That is P6, peptide 6. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then hit the thumbs up and like it. And if you have any questions, comment. Uh, I've got P21 in my fridge. I've been trying that out as a research chemical, or my rabbit's actually been trying it out. I haven't tried it. And uh, if you have any questions about that, let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe, because that's the only way you'll be able to know that there's more videos, especially if you click that little bell that's there. And if you want to see more stuff, you can go to the blog. It's livinghealthyallday.com. Here we go. I'll click it for you. You can see right on the top up here, livinghealthyallday.com. So thanks, guys, and stay beautiful.